Hello YouTube, I'm Wheels on Wheels. Thank you for tuning in and today we're going to be doing a small unboxing video and sort of a mini review of my new Conental welder. So this was £62 plus taxes from AliExpress. So it is an absolute bargain and it is the ideal welder, I think, for a beginner like me um, because it does all the different types of welding. Um, and it is not just a flux core MIG welder, it also accepts gas. So you can supposedly do proper MIG welding with this. So I know some of you might be thinking, oh, there's no way you could do real MIG welding with a 62 pound welder. Um, and I haven't actually tried the gas part of the welding yet. I've tried the flux core part of the welder and it works pretty well, as you can see here. Um, it's not the prettiest weld in the world, it's my second ever MIG weld. But um, yeah, it works, so there you are. Let's hit rewind and go back to the beginning when I was unboxing it. Okay, so this is what you get inside the box of your Conental MIG 200. Here's the box. It's decently packaged and it has arrived in good condition. Now, this you can see here is the welding mask that they give you. And fair enough, they, you know, they've given you something. Um, it's better than nothing, but only just. It's very flimsy. I would recommend investing in a proper welding mask rather than using this, but it's there if you want it. Next, we have the ground. And here we have the torch or handle, whatever you call it, for arc welding or stick welding. It's very, very tight, but it's got good, you know, good pressure to hold onto the stick with, so I guess that's a good thing. You have this little box here, which is the 0.5 mil flux core wire that it comes with, which is quite good. That's quite nice, nice feature. You've got the declaration of conformity and some instructions. We'll see how useful they are in a moment. And we also got some tips. So it comes with a 0.8 tip and a one mil tip by the looks of it. You will see now in the MIG torch, which is here, it does already have a tip in it. And this is a 0.8 tip. So you've got two 0.8 tips and a one mil tip. There we are. So here, here it is. Quite good, decent length on that uh, on that MIG torch. There we are. And here we have the welder itself. So it looks quite good, in good condition. So it's been packed quite well. And you can see you've got all the settings on the front here. So you've got the option to switch between MIG and MMA. So I guess that's arc stick welding and gas and flux core, because of course this is a gas MIG welder. This is not just a flux core MIG welder, it accepts gas as well. And you can choose between synergic or manual wire feeding. Um, so that's quite good, but you can also change the voltage and amperage and wire speed independently if you want to. So that's very nice indeed. You also get a wire brush and a little hammer, which is a nice touch. Don't know how useful it'll be, but it's quite good. Some sticks for the stick welding, that's nice as well. And in here, for some reason, you get a separate piece of glass for the welding mask that they give you. Well, I'm not sure why there's two, but there you go. There's a separate one in case the other one implodes or something. I have no idea. Right, let's go and try it out. So here we are on the workbench, ready to weld. In the beginning, you would have seen this piece of welding here. Um, and this is a lap weld that I did. This is my second weld. This is going to be my third ever weld. Um, you can see good penetration um, and a really solid weld and the reason it's bent is because I was hitting it with a hammer to test its durability. Um, this time though I'm going to try a butt weld. So I've got my big metal block and two bits of one mil thick sheet metal um, butted together and I'm going to try and do a butt weld on that. So let's get started. Okay, so I've got the welder set roughly on the one millimeter thick setting and I've got it in synergic mode, of course. And this is obviously flux core and I've got it on MIG. Um, so those are the settings I'm going to use. I might tweak it as I go along. Right, here goes nothing. Actually, before I carry on, I'm going to spray on some of this anti-spatter spray because obviously flux core is quite messy. And 
and move down here a little bit just to give that time to cool. A bit more at the end. Back in the middle a bit. Beginning, fill in the gaps. Oh, let that go a bit long. out's a bit too long I think. Keep in mind I am brand new to welding. Okay it's looking horrible, but you know what? I bet it's welded. Okay, wire brush. Do you know what? That looks like a weld. <laughs> Just find something to wipe this down with. Wow, that anti-spatter spray is fantastic. Completely gets rid of all the spatter, that's great. Oh yes, look at that, I'm pretty proud of that, if I, if I bend it, oh wow, hey that's pretty good, so you can see penetration on the back there, probably not quite enough penetration really, could have done with a little bit more to perhaps turn the uh, amperage up just slightly, but I think that's pretty good. Now the real test is will it withstand a hammer in the vise? Let's try it. Now it's time for the official will it withstand a hammer in the vise wheels approved test or something. So here we go. What are we thinking? So I'm going to hit it this side, um, about here. Ready? Three, two, one. Wow, that is certainly welded, that's for sure. That is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> now it may not be perfect, it needs a little bit of grinding, but you know what, it's a weld. So I don't really care, that I am properly happy with. Back to the studio. So there you have it, I am really, really impressed with this welder. Um, it does everything that a beginner would need to do, all the different types of welding, and frankly, it creates decent welds. As you can see here, we've got good penetration on the back. Um, for flux core, I think that's okay for my limited knowledge of welding. I think that's reasonable. And at the end of the day, I've hit that with a hammer, and it's bent the metal, and the weld itself is completely unfazed. So I think that is a 10 out of 10 for value for money for that welder. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you like this content, please subscribe to the channel and give the video a like. Really appreciate it. Bye for now.